Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting day for me. I have ordered an Amazon Returns palette. It's just arrived and I'm gonna basically unbox it today with you guys. I went for an electrical appliances palette because as you know, we're currently renovating. Sorry about the noise. There's lots of builders and things going on here today, but we genuinely need a few things like a coffee maker, a new toaster, blender, like stuff for our new kitchen. So when you order a palette, you can actually see what is included in it, but you don't know why it was returned. So you don't know for sure how well it works. Sometimes people just return it because it's an unwanted gift, might have a chip on it, or it might actually not work. So we're gonna open it up, see what we've got, although we do kind of have an idea, um, but then we're actually gonna see if any of it works. Anything that we don't end up keeping, we're gonna donate to charity, or if any of you guys are desperately in need for a kettle or a toaster or something you see, definitely comment down below because I'm gonna send some things out because there are multiple kettles, multiple toasters, and we're not gonna need all of them. I'm so excited because this is the kind of video that I personally love to watch, and I've always wanted to order one. So this palette was 332 pounds, um, but everything that is is in it is worth about 1800 pounds um so yeah let's see if it was worth it and unbox it Straight away, I can see a lot of products from Cookworks, Russell Hobbs, Breville. Some boxes look really damaged and some things don't even have a box. So I'm just gonna get started. I actually like the look of this toaster here. I quite like the colors. This one on the list, it said it was worth 51 pounds. And I've actually just noticed, cause I was gonna test them all out on this um, extension lead, but there is a little thing on it that says, what's wrong with each thing, like why it's been returned. So this one, it says it's tripping the electric, but that makes me think, is that a problem like in your own house? We've like, had that problem before. It's probably we? not a product problem, is yeah. it? I didn't know you could even return things for that reason. Um, yeah, you do. But now I'm gonna return some. <laughs> um, oh, I do really like the colors, but it has actually been used, you guys. Oh. There are toast crumbs inside Ooh. i don't know it's not that easy to clean a toaster um so yeah interesting first awesome. one yeah. next up we've got another toaster and this one says it only heats up on one side <laughs> so obviously that's not going to work that well for our family of five but maybe a single person could just use one half of it <laughs> waste of space, i think, though, isn't I think it? this one what was this one 47 pound no 25 pound yeah Okay, so apparently on the list we have five of these Cookworks blenders. There's nothing wrong with this one. I reckon it was returned because the box is so damaged, but it says it works. Um, so yeah, I don't know. That wouldn't actually put me off. Maybe it was a gift though. Yeah. One travel kettle, which makes about two travel cups of tea. But we've also got another one. And we've got Four another cups. one. <laughs> Six cups. Yeah, and there's another one. I can't get it. There uh -oh. we go. And there is a, whoo, another one as well. So if we're going camping, we could take we'll one of these. Six other people. <laughs> We could give them to someone else. Anyone going camping? This is a product I actually do really rate. I've got a mini electric chopper. Um, my one is from Von Chef, I think, but from Amazon. Um, and I love it for carrots, onions, stuff like that. I've got a handheld one as well. Um, and this one actually works. It just says it has a bent blade, but it still chops. I'm not a bent so blade. I would actually keep this, but I've already got one. Another product that I actually like the look of is this Russell and Hobbs glass blender. This is Russell full... and Hobbs. Russell like and did Hobbs. There. Forty-seven pounds. <laughs> um Feels really heavy. So let's have a little look. Feels very good quality, but it has definitely been used. Um, so I guess they tried it, didn't like it. That potentially is a bargain though, isn't it? It's no, like... that is actually. Yeah, that is like, it's quite a good one because it comes with little other like blender, 
what's it called? For a little smoothie. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that one is actually quite good. I've got another toaster, and this one only burns on one side. <laughs> Again. So we've got two that don't burn on one side, so we've actually got four You could slices. have both, and you could yeah. make it for two people. We lay out six toasters. Yeah. We yeah. have a milk frother. Where did that come from? Just behind my back. <laughs> we've got a milk frother. Could actually probably do with that. We don't have a milk frother. Go upstairs with the coffee machine, darling. I can't really read it. It's like missing a part. Missing the frother. Missing a part. Oh, this is actually brand new, which is quite nice because some things... I don't think it is missing a part. Oh. Do you know what I'm learning? People literally just return stuff. Yeah. Like. Actually, uh, I've got that thing we bought seven years ago. I you don't know, know like that car. <laughs> no, it's not missing a part. Yeah. That one is worth £34 and it does actually work. Okay, next up, we have a kettle in no box. It says the knob is broken and it is actually broken, but it looks really well used. So I'm just really surprised that well you can used. like. It does, yeah. like this scale in it, like like a lot of scale, like looks like I've been used for like years and years. Um, the knob's broken off and they've managed to return it. Yeah. I just wouldn't have the front personally, but then maybe it is because it was badly made. Got another kettle. Shock. <laughs> Put it on. Actually like the look of this toaster and we need a toaster. So I'm really hoping that it works. This one says that the left side is not staying down. I'm going to check it. Have a look. Moment of truth. Let's see. Oh, it's blue. And it's meant to be. It's black on the thing. It's actually blue. There you go. There's no crumbs in it, so it's actually not been used. Staying down. <laughs> they lied. Bonus, Jonah. You pop it back up. Oh. There you go. Oh, my God. That is actually working. That's absolutely fine, and no one's ever used it. I'm really sorry. I'm hoping we're going to get to the good bit soon. There's supposed to be like three good coffee machines in here. I just keep getting kettles. Imagine if you walked into a shop and was like, um, can I return this, please? It's not quite what I wanted. <laughs> okay, this is a product that I could actually do with. It's a rice maker. I've never had one, yeah. but I do actually murder rice. So I probably should have one. We could have this in the pantry if it works. Um, so yeah, should we test it? Yeah. I mean, I don't know how you do it or anything. Yeah, but, oh, it is going like that. But one success. Got two more toasters, a blender, four more kettles. They all look like they work. It's so interesting to see why people return things though, because like this kettle, it said they returned it because the kettle won't sit properly on the base, but it it's does. Right to me. So it may, maybe there was a problem, but it actually sits fine. Um, and then this toaster over here, I was looking at it because I actually quite like the color of it and it has like extra wide um, thingies. I don't know, I thought it could be one that we had, but it said it wasn't heating properly. But I just tested it out and it is. So, I mean, you probably have to try like actual toast in it to like see how well it toasts. Um, but yeah, we've got five microwaves. Most of them, it seems like they need some kind of repair, like the door doesn't quite shut, etc. cetera. Um, but it does look like they actually work. Like, they've never been used, some of them. But, yeah. Two more blenders. Okay. Right. Three more blenders. I've actually got three more rice makers, two out of boxes, one more in a box, which is brand new and works. And I think I actually prefer the color of this one to the white one. So I think I'm actually gonna keep this one in our pantry to use. Um, but yeah, some of the ones Why out of the box one? are just pretty gross. Next up, I've got a perfectly good crock pot slow cooker. This is actually the brand that I have for my slow cooker anyway, and it actually works. It's absolutely fine. I don't know if I need another one, um, but- My mum does. Actually, got, yeah? Oh my gosh, we'll give it to your mum. Yeah. Okay, so that's that one. And then I also got two herb and coffee grinders. This is actually something I think you would like, like for grinding yeah, yeah. up herbs and I stuff. I like to grind. And, and grinding up coffee. So I've got two of those and they actually work as well. But I've got to be honest with you, I'm so, so disappointed. The whole time I was going through that palette, I was pretty much just looking for these three DeLonghi coffee makers because they were worth 
over two hundred pounds, weren't they? Well, altogether, yeah, nearly three hundred pounds. Oh, sorry, nearly three hundred. Retail price, yeah. Yeah, nearly three hundred pounds in retail price, and it was pretty much the reason I chose to get this palette because I was like, oh, it's got like the three DeLonghi coffee makers, and one's probably going to work, and that's the one that we'll have. And there's none in here, so I feel a bit ripped off. I'm going to definitely email them right now. You send them that email. No, I was going to send them that. I'm going to yeah. be a keyboard warrior. I'm actually going to be like, oh hi, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my coffee makers? Uh, but it's just a real like. Oh, I thought it. I don't know. I just felt like that would make it worth it. Yes. Yeah, so I probably wouldn't bother unless you actually need a lot of appliances. Does that work? Or you are quite handy and you can fix a few things if you need to. I was thinking, oh, maybe you could like put this kind of stuff on like eBay, resell it on but it's very touch and go, like the stuff that you do actually get. But I'm gonna keep the rice cooker, the um, grinder thing, give the slow cooker to your mom. I might keep a blender and there was a few other things, but yeah, all in all, I'm actually really disappointed. I'm sorry guys, I was really excited for this. Underwhelmed. <laughs> I just, I was really excited to get that coffee maker and I was gonna put it upstairs in the utility room and make my coffee in the morning. But Are you going to be all right? Now, I mean, maybe they'll send them to me and they'll all be broken anyway. They'll probably be like, yeah, she's complained. We'll send her like broken returned ones. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, that is it for this video. Right, so it's a bit later on now, but I did want to let you know that a woman's refuge is happy to take the appliances that are working or partially working. So at least that's something. I feel like they're going to go to a good home, help someone out. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about this video. They do so many different types of palettes. Other companies do as well i've seen people do like john lewis return palettes um gift palettes clothing palettes stuff like that so if it is something that you like let me know otherwise i probably won't bother again <laughs> but anyway thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye guys